to is James Hill with James Hill Sports. How's it going, Coach Scott? It's going well, James. How you been? How's your summer been? Blessed, blessed. It's hot down here. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, your quarterback room. Uh, you have some gentlemen who are um, willing to come in and do whatever it takes to help the Bison win games. Uh, have you identified one of those three gentlemen, or will that be something everybody will see come Thursday night? Um, right now, I think there'll be something everybody sees come Thursday night. Um, the, the guys in, in the room as a whole uh, has, has done a really good job, you know, from all our off-season things, you know, our, our work, uh, our football one-on-one, uh, from the meeting room to the grass and all those things. They, they've done a really good job in taking command and, um, and, and taking on the leadership roles that come with, you know, being um, the quarterback and, and, and being in that room. So uh, all of the gentlemen have done a really good job. They've competed, which has kind of amped up the competition uh, throughout the team. And you've seen that permeate in, in, in all of our rooms on both sides of the football. Um, the level of competition has just been really, really high for us. And I think it's started with uh, how that's generated from the quarterback room and guys going out and competing uh, each and every day. So, um, I, you know, I think we got a couple guys we've identified that are more than capable uh, of doing it and, and doing it to the level in which we think uh, can get us back to Atlanta and, and, and help us have and reach all the goals that we set for ourselves this year. Uh, so um, uh, the media and everyone will find out when we run that guy out there on Thursday night. Coach, uh, you have an opportunity to play on a national stage uh, up 95, up the turnpike and turn into uh, what they call the birthplace of college football. But just talk a little bit about going into Rutgers. Uh, you bring in the MEAC brand, and it's a great opportunity to to share, if you will, HU football with everybody. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we have a lot of young men on our team uh, from the New Jersey area that are super excited about it. Some of our players' parents went through Rutgers and met at Rutgers and uh, all those type of things because they're from the New Jersey area. So it's an exciting time for them to have a chance to go up there and, and kind of return to home and uh, a lot of kids off the East Coast. So uh, it's a, it's an exciting time for us. And I, and I think, um, you know, for where our football team is and and, uh, and how we're comprised and been built, uh, this is a great opportunity for us, you know, to go up and compete against a team. I think that's, uh, you know, gotten better uh, each and every year under Coach Ciano. Uh, back in the days, I was a part of the old Big East when I was coaching at the University of South Florida and used to uh, duke it out with some really good Rutgers teams back in the day. So I, I kind of know uh, a little bit about the brand that he's building there and, and how they've been building it and, and what it's going to look like and be like, uh, you know, once he's kind of got his, you know, his thing back entrenched there, they're going to be blue collar, uh, going to be a physical ball control team that, that is going to play football like a typical big, you know, Big Ten team, going to grind it out and those things like that. So it's a great challenge for us, but I think it's one that's going to test our, our mental and physical toughness right out the chute, uh, and, and which is something that I'm geared up to really find out about where we are as it pertains to being in that area. And, and I, I don't think there's a better opportunity for us to go find that out and, and go compete our tails off and, and let the four quarters play out like they're going to play out. Thank you, Coach. Have a blessed week. Thank you. Appreciate it, James.